What's up everybody welcome to another camera comparison video today I have this OnePlus 12 and Xiaomi 14 Pro OnePlus 12 comes with a Sony Lightyear 808 main sensor, Omnivision OV64B sensor for telephoto lens and yeah there is a Sony IMX581 sensor tagged to the ultra wide lens. Both the main sensor and the telephoto sensor has OIS. On the other hand Xiaomi 14 Pro comes with a new Light Fusion 900 sensor and yeah Xiaomi has reused the other two sensors from Xiaomi 13 Pro which I truly don't like because they have used a Samsung Isocell JN1 sensor that's not even a mediocre sensor. Anyway before we start the video one request if you end up liking this video then please don't forget to click on the like button and you know what it's 2 am in the morning. I'm still working, I've been working for almost 40 hours to do this camera comparison video. So yeah, I know I look a bit tired, but I always do things for my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to this channel and support honest content. What's up everybody, welcome to another camera comparison video. Today I have this OnePlus 12 and Xiaomi 14 Pro. Yeah, a lot of people have requested for this camera comparison video, so I'm doing this for you. And a lot of people have made comments like, Han, why do you always go outside and record selfie videos under bright daylight? Why don't you do it in your studio? Actually, this is only a part of my studio where I work. I usually don't record videos here. Yeah, here's the door. I usually sit over here, check my email and write voiceovers and something like that. Yeah. The watches that I usually wear, regularly wear, stays over here. I have more than 100 smart watches. Okay, I like to play guitar, so I have a guitar over here. When I'm not working, I play guitar. If I am not playing guitar and not working, then I just lie down on this sofa and try to fall asleep. It's uh, very hard to do that. Because I also have a treadmill over here. I know most of the people when they feel tired or don't want to work they just go and take rest but when I feel like I don't want to work I start walking on this treadmill and then when I feel like okay I have recharged enough energy I come back to this desk. Yeah that's my MacBook Pro M3 Pro and here it's my iPad Pro M2. I usually edit videos and do bulk of the works standing over here. Well, let's get back to the place. Oh yeah, there are a lot of dolls over here. There are some caps. I actually never wear those. But as I have a habit to collect caps, smartwatches, earbuds. So I have a lot of earbuds, a lot of smartwatches and uh, a lot of caps. Well, I haven't used any studio lights over here because I wanted to provide you the natural feel. How does these two smartphone selfie cameras perform? What do you think? Which one has performed better? Let me know in the comment section. If you end up liking this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel. Support honest content. Well, let's start with some human photos. A lot of people do camera comparison videos without a single photo of any human subject. I don't like the idea. To me, human photography is an integral part of a camera comparison video. In human photography, a few things are very important. Exposure, detail level, skin tone, color grading, and white balance. Surprisingly, both of the phones have performed similarly well. It was an uphill battle to find which one has performed better. Anyway, there are a few basic differences. Xiaomi has gone for a warmer color temperature. OnePlus has kept it cold. Xiaomi has a good balance of brightness and contrast. OnePlus has slight more details and a bit sharper textures. Xiaomi 14 Pro definitely has wider dynamic range and reproduced almost perfect true to life skin tone. On the other hand, OnePlus has a bit more definition and higher shadow details. 
I believe a lot will depend on personal preference. And I can say without any hesitation, if you prefer sharpness and more definition, then you should go for OnePlus 12. If you prefer social media ready photos, then Xiaomi 14 Pro would be a correct choice for you. Okay, once we have switched to the portrait mode, things have changed a lot. Both the OnePlus 12 and Xiaomi 14 Pro got a telephoto lens and uses the telephoto sensor to take portrait photos. Xiaomi 14 Pro has a mediocre 50 megapixel Samsung JN1, OnePlus 12 has a slightly better 64 megapixel Omnivision OV64B. Both the phones have OIS for the telephoto sensors. Surprisingly, Xiaomi 14 Pro has grabbed more details, has better bokeh, better edge cutouts, and altogether, Xiaomi 14 Pro is well ahead of OnePlus 12. OnePlus 12 has a bit high contrast, skin tone is also not that correct, sometimes pale and sometimes saturated. After checking a lot of portrait photos side by side, Xiaomi has better exposure, wider dynamic range, it has better color grading, and most of the time, Xiaomi has managed to reproduce almost perfect true-to-life skin tone. In terms of separation between subject and the background, Xiaomi has also done a bit better. Considering detail level, texture sharpness, and putting all the other preferential things aside, I think you will agree that Xiaomi 14 Pro is the winner of this segment. I have never been fond of any OnePlus smartphone's selfie photos. OnePlus 12 has also failed to impress me. It's not like Xiaomi 14 Pro offers a very good selfie performance, it's more like Xiaomi's selfie performance isn't as poor as OnePlus's. I think Xiaomi has done better with natural skin tone, more details and well-processed textures. What do you think? Do you agree? These video clips were recorded in 4K 30 frames per second on the verge of sunset. Under daylight, most of the phones performs well enough, so we wanted to push hard to check dynamic range and exposure management of these flagship phones. It's good to see that both have grabbed a lot of details, colors are amazingly well processed, and altogether both have reproduced sharp and crisp 4K video clips. Though, I would prefer Xiaomi 14 Pro as it has natural white balance and better color grading. In terms of exposure, details, and shadows, there is very little to differentiate, but in terms of highlights and definition, it seems Xiaomi 14 Pro is slightly ahead of OnePlus 12. It's clear that Xiaomi 14 Pro tries to deliver crisp and vibrant 4K video clips without drifting far from reality. I really don't know why OnePlus 12 has saturated the whole thing. I will leave this segment to you. I am not satisfied with the performance of these flagships. Yeah, these are 4K 60 frames per second video clips and both have failed to deliver truly flagship class performance. Please check carefully and let me know which phone do you think has performed better. It's time for low light photos, it's the real battle between two monsters. At least as per the specifications, these are the monsters. This year OnePlus 12 has got an upgraded main sensor with OIS, while it seems like Xiaomi has downgraded the main sensor of Xiaomi 14 Pro. OnePlus 12 low light photos have super boosted colors, it's more than vibrant. OnePlus photos are ready for sharing on social media. Do you remember, I have said the same thing about Xiaomi a few minutes ago in another segment, 
So yeah, the performance actually jumps back and forth. Anyway, Xiaomi has rendered colors that is true to life and feels more natural, but OnePlus has better exposure and brightness. A lot depends on personal preferences. Some people prefer brighter and vibrant images. Others prefer darker low light photos which have the vibe of a night. Here in this channel, Enhanced Tech Talk, we care about four aspects of low light photos. Here we call it DENS, details, exposure, noise and shadows. After checking a lot of low light photos, it is clear that both have grabbed a lot of details and processed textures with clarity. In some occasions, OnePlus has failed to maintain exposure and Xiaomi has processed more shadow details without increasing noise and grains. That's surprising. Overall, considering all the aspects, Xiaomi 14 Pro has delivered better low-light photos. Both the Xiaomi 14 Pro and OnePlus 12 comes with a single telephoto lens. I really hate this. I don't know why Xiaomi has used a mediocre sensor for the telephoto lens. Yes, at 3.2 times zoom, it performs well, maybe better than OnePlus 12, but once we start zooming in, Xiaomi starts to fall apart. This is a 10 times zoom photo. I'm surprised to see OnePlus has more details and definition along with sharper textures and better contrast. Truly, it's way better than Xiaomi 14 Pro. I really don't know when will Xiaomi fanboys understand that Xiaomi 14 Pro is just a stopgap product. Xiaomi has never intended to make this 14 Pro a camera king. Xiaomi will release a Xiaomi 14 Ultra before Chinese New Year and that will come with flagship sensors tagged to its telephoto lens. For now, I think OnePlus 12 has done better in nighttime zoom photos. This is another segment where Xiaomi has failed to impress me. OnePlus with the 3 years old Sony IMX sensor has truly performed well. OnePlus has way better exposure and brightness. It has grabbed more details and shadows are boosted without any additional noise and grains. I cannot generalize white balance cause in some photos Xiaomi has warm color temperature and in some other photos OnePlus has warm color temperature. The same trend continues, yeah, these are daytime ultra-wide photos and OnePlus 12 has performed better. However, Xiaomi 14 Pro has performed almost as good as OnePlus 12 under bright daylight. It's really a tough task to decide a winner cause there is no clue. The performance randomly shifts back and forth, I mean daytime ultra-wide performance. In some photos, OnePlus 12 has warmer color temperature wider dynamic range with sharper textures. In some other photos, Xiaomi has natural color tone, better exposure and higher shadow details. Daytime image quality of most of the flagships are almost equally well. Camera performance under bright daylight is becoming better and better. The results here are surprisingly amazing, especially Xiaomi 14 Pro's performance is top notch. All the photos were taken in auto mode and AI was enabled. OnePlus has tried something different in their algorithm. When AI was enabled, it actually didn't add too much artificial processing. Xiaomi 14 Pro has continued to process photos with a bit warm color temperature. I have chosen Leica authentic filter cause this filter delivers photos that are really very close to true to life. Xiaomi also has better dynamic range along with more shadow details, but OnePlus 12 has balanced sharpening, efficient focus metering, and slightly better synthetic processing. Under bright daylight, Xiaomi 14 Pro's telephoto sensor has performed well. Wow, I'm surprised. It has fought toe to toe with OnePlus 12. No, sorry. In some photos, Xiaomi 14 Pro has truly crashed OnePlus 12. This camera comparison feels like a ride on a roller coaster. Well, what do you think about these two smartphones? Which one has won the battle? Considering the price, OnePlus 12 is the winner of this battle. But if you consider overall performance and everything, then maybe you would like to go with Xiaomi 14 Pro. I would like to know which one do you prefer or like which one would you buy if you have to buy one of these two smartphones. 
please make a comment in the comment section share your thoughts and ideas if you have liked this video then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel support honest content